So if you're on the Wii menu, you may notice that on the bottom right corner, on the Wii message board, we get a message. Straight from Mario Kart Wii. Congrats, GM909. You've managed to collect every trophy in the game. To mark this momentous occasion, we'd like to present you with a commemorative photo. Keep carding. Now, this is of course referring to the fact that we got all the trophies in 50cc. And we even get to view our photo, which is, um... Glitch for some reason. This ha this has happened every time to me, by the way. I don't think uh, there's a way you could view it without the glitch of a little black square right there, a rectangle. So that's great. There is actually another commemorative photo you'll get in the game later on as you unlock more stuff. Anyways, let's get back into the game. Alrighty. So previously, we did all of 50cc, and we now have carts and bikes available for it. Now, for 100cc, a Grand Prix for average players. Bikes only. So, uh, so for 50cc we covered the lightweight and medium weight characters. Why don't we start covering some large weight characters? Like, oh, I don't know, how about Donkey Kong? course, the character that kind of started it all. Now, we have three large weight bikes here, with the standard bike large, the flame runner, and the Wario bike. We'll start off with the standard bike as we go with manual drifting. So for each of the custom classes, you have to re-unlock the uh, unlockable cups for each of them. So if you unlock Star Cup and 50cc, you only unlock it for 50cc. You have to go through each of the of the CCs individually in order to go through all of the tracks and lock all of them. Which is a bit annoying, but I get why. So we're gonna have to go through Luigi's Circuit again, but this time on a bike. So, bikes handle a little differently from carts, in that, especially with drifting. Now, you may know the sparks with the carts and how they evolve from blue sparks to later on orange sparks. Um, well, bikes do not have that, but rather, they can, they can only go up to uh, blue sparks, but to make up for it, they actually have what's called wheelies. Wheelies? are done by shaking the Wii Remote or pressing up on the D-pad for Classic Controller and GameCube Controller. And pretty much, you could... You could pretty much drive forward while doing a wheelie and gain a lot more speed. However, the only thing about it is that you cannot really turn while wheelieing. However, many players consider it superior to uh, the normal Mini Turbo, and is why many um, competitive Mario Kart Wii players, yes, they exist, um, why many of them prefer bikes over carts. Now, there are actually certain uh, bikes that have, well, I'll get into it later, some of them actually drift differently. Then this is not one of them, having an outside drift. They actually removed wheelies in later Mario Kart games, including Mario Kart 8. Alright. Sorry if I'm a bit quiet right now, my, uh, my headphones aren't working correctly. But whatever, anyways, we have Moo Moo Meadows now. You should put on a different pair or something, I don't know. But anyways.
Yeah, so you're going to see me wheeling a lot across these races while using a bike. And also, yeah, Donkey Kong in this game can get pretty annoying because uh, rather than, you know, actual voice lines, Donkey Kong just instead has, of course, grunts because, you know, he's an ape. However, the ape, or er, the sound effects for him have differed across different Mario games. For a lot of the Nintendo 64 games, including Mario Kart 64 and the Mario Party games, Donkey Kong has had um, stock gorilla sound effects for his voice lines, which kind of have a certain charm to them, and I honestly really like them, especially since they, there's only like two or three that they use in total. However, for any of the GameCube games onwards, with the exception of the Mario Party games, oddly enough, on GameCube, uh, they would have, they would record new gorilla sound effects, or just new voice clips and grunts for Donkey Kong, which I honestly th not a fan of, I'll just say that much. I guess because of how obnoxious they are, and over the top they are. I don't know. That might be one of the reasons why I don't play as Donkey Kong that often in this game. Either that or it's just because there's plenty of other, I hate to say it, better characters. But anyways, we've got a time of a minute and 49 seconds. So, I forgot to mention, for 100cc, the uh, racers will actually go faster. I mean, I guess that was kind of obvious. Oops. Well, we already saw the introduction screen for all these tracks in uh, the in 50cc, so we don't really need to watch them again. What was I saying? Oh yeah, for each of the custom classes, or the CCs, the carts will pretty much go faster and faster, with the fastest speed being in 150cc. And it's funny, because in Mario Kart 8, on Wii U, they would introduce 200cc. Yeah. Just imagine how that, that would go. Having super fast carts, where you can barely even control your vehicle, it's crazy. That's why I love it. Was I gonna say something about... Oh yeah, Donkey Kong. For such an iconic character, you think, oh, he's probably appeared in every Mario Kart game. He actually is not. Super Mario Kart did not have Donkey Kong Jr. Or, it had Donkey Kong Jr. as opposed to Donkey Kong, who hasn't appeared too often in recent years, unfortunately. But Donkey Kong Jr. was in Mario, was in Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo, as opposed to normal DK. I forget what exactly the reason was. I think because Nintendo at the time thought Donkey Kong Jr. was a lot more iconic of a character, even though, keep in mind, this was before the Donkey Kong Country games came out. So. And pretty much these, uh, the Donkey Kong arcade games were pretty much the only games that, um, uh-oh, falling behind. That's not good. We might not get consecutive first places this go about. That's not good. And dang nabbit, we only got fifth place. Thanks, Blue Shell! Ugh. 
That's the thing, especially in this game, spiny shells can really make or break a race. And that's why I often consider it one of the more, I guess, luck-based Mario Kart games to where so much of your racing performance relies on luck and hoping to God you don't get hit by a spiny shell in the worst places. Like what you just saw there. Ugh. Well, let's, let's hope we at least do well on this track, not off to a good start. That's another thing, is that doing wheelies can be pretty risky, because if you bump into anything, you pretty much lose all of your speed. So it's kind of a high-risk, high-reward situation. Get out of here, Koopa. Dude, I'm struggling to find things to talk about now, because I guess I already explained literally everything. I guess I could start going into personal stories with this game. Such as, I may as well start from the beginning. Um, you, some of you might find this either easy or hard to believe, but... This was my first ever Mario game. Ever. Yeah, I know. I'm younger than some of you might think. With the fact that a, a Mario game from 2008 was my first go about with the franchise. But, I mean, it, I guess it also makes sense when you think about the fact that Mario Kart Wii is actually the second best-selling Wii game of all time. Right behind Wii Sports. Which makes sense, because it's it literally came with the system. But Mario Kart Wii is the second best selling. Mainly because, I'm guessing because of its advertising, and the fact that it came with a special accessory. So, Mario Kart Wii actually came in unique packaging, to where rather than being in the normal DVD case-like packaging of most Wii games, when first seeing it in stores, it is instead in a box because- uh oh. Okay, I got lucky there. Because of a special accessory it comes with, the Wii Wheel, which is a, uh, a plastic attachment to the Wii Remote to make it in the shape of a steering wheel. And, like I said, despite there not really being any technology to it, um, I think it was a big reason for the fact that it, like I said, it became the best-selling, the second best-selling Wii game. And for the longest time, the best-selling Mario Kart game before it got outsold by Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for Nintendo Switch. Anyways, we only got 52 points out of a possible 60, so we didn't get a perfect score for uh, Mushroom Cup, unfortunately. Thanks, Mushroom Gorge. Ugh. But, whatever. We still got first place regardless. And I'll probably continue that Wii Wheel story for the in the next cup. But yeah. There we go. Oh my god, he's... Seems like a freaking screaming about it. DK there. That's awesome. We didn't get a star ranked. In we did! We got a one gold star rank somehow, even though we didn't get a perfect score. But, oh well. That's good. At least we don't have to replay the um, Mushroom Cup in 100cc, thankfully. So we could go ahead and move on to the next cup, which we may as well cover with as the one and only... Bowser. 
on the Flame Runner, which even has Bowser's face on it. Ain't that beautiful? So the Flame Runner is a speedy vehicle that is very heavy and has excellent drift and mini turbo. However, its acceleration and handling is very weak. This vehicle is actually a personal favorite of a lot of Mario Kart Wii players, and I'll get to exactly why, as we do the Flower Cup in 100cc. And now it's time to do Mario Circuit again. I always like those signs there that have Mario written on them with a bunch of 8-bit sprites. Kind of representing the the original Super Mario Brothers for the NES. I always found that cool as a kid. Mainly because I guess when I first played this, like, it was before, um, you know, retro stuff was cool, I guess. That's probably what it was. So, the Flame Runner actually has something unique to bikes. Or specific bikes. It has inward drift. Now, most vehicles in this game have outward drift. Oh, by the way, you can do some mushroom on the shortcut right there. But yeah, like I said, the um, Lane Runner is inward drift, meaning that you'll be able to um, go through tighter curves in a quicker time, or faster, pretty much. So yeah, pretty broken, and like the wheelie, it was not brought back into the series after this game. I wonder why. Like, freaking look at this. Look at this! Jeez, you'd have no reason not to use this vehicle, honestly. Ugh. So, yeah, that's what I meant earlier by the fact that this is considered a personal favorite for most Mario Kart Wii players. Because it's fast, it's a bike, it has inward drifting, meaning you could cut corners in a snap. Uh-oh. Although, because Bowser is one of the starter characters, he's uh, probably not a personal favorite among players, unlike the Flame Runner. Because there are some characters in this game that are actually quote-unquote, personal favorites for a lot of uh, players. And I'll get into those later. Spoiler alert, they're unlockable characters, mostly. Actually, no, all of them are unlockable characters. I got pretty lucky there. Just in time to dodge the blue show with a time of a minute and 57 seconds. Yeah, only a less than a second lead. So yeah, we're not, we're not going to be able to get super high leads in 100cc like we were in 50cc. Because, I mean, this is a higher difficulty. It only makes sense. Now it's time to do Coconut Mall again. We can skip this. So yeah, I may as well continue... Uh-oh. Great. <laughs> I may as well continue the talk that I was talking about in the Mushroom Cup. And that's about... <laughs> got Mr. Burns on the left. Um, about the Wii Wheel, the accessory that came with this game. I guess, like Wii Sports, a big appeal of this game to many non, uh, to many non-video game players is the fact that, oh, I don't need to learn how to, you know, play this game with all these rules. I could just do an action that I could do in real life. Kind of like the appeal of Wii Sports and that you were able to just use the Wii Remote to swing a tennis racket or a baseball bat like in real life. I guess Mario Kart Wii had that same appeal to a lot of people, to the fact that you could use the Wii wheel like an actual steering wheel. To where, like, I guess a lot of people will think, Oh, I drive a lot in real life. I don't need to learn how to play this game. I could just steer this wheel like I do in real life. 
Dang it. I guess also to people, especially parents, it could be seen as like uh, a good game, I guess, for kids to learn how to drive or something. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if some parents had that mindset. In fact, what's funny is that I personally actually did not um, buy this game with the Wii Wheel. I'm pretty sure my family bought it used. Uh, wow, I ran right into that. Um, I believe my uh, family actually bought the game used with just the case. Mainly because uh, my copy actually has a uh, pricing sticker on the back of the case rather than, I'm guessing, it would normally have one on the box. Although, Mario Kart Wii might have been sold on its own without the Wii wheel uh, back then, especially considering the fact that my copy of Mario Kart Wii does not have the labeling of Not For Resale, which is typical for a lot of uh, games that came in special packaging. Such as, um, uh, for example, Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Genesis. <laughs> okay, got another blue shell uh, after I won the race. Okay, cool. As I was saying, with Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Genesis, which was a um, pack-in title for the Sega Genesis, on its packaging, there is a huge banner on the top that says not for resale. And I believe my copy of Mario Kart Wii does not have that labeling on the... It's on the back, usually. It's funny, because I'm pretty sure my copy of Wii Sports Resort does. Because I remember getting that game in the box because it comes... It, too, comes with a special accessory. Although, I guess a bit cooler than the Wii Wheel, with the Wii Motion Plus, which allowed for more complex motion controls for uh, all sorts of games. Mainly Wii Sports Resort and, like, maybe two other games. What else was there? Wii Play Motion? Come on. Oh, that was close. That's the thing about inward drifting, especially there, that it can be really risky. Another high-risk, high-reward situation for this, um, for this bike, the Flame Runner. So, yeah, that, that's why I can see this not being a very good vehicle for uh, beginners. Because of, like I said, the high risk, high reward. Um, the high risk, high reward stuff of this vehicle. Because of inward drifting and the uh, wheeling. But it's definitely a good vehicle for pros that you know, would not be prone to as much mistakes as a beginner who hasn't, doesn't have much, as much experience with this game. And I got both Blooper and Thundercloud. Wonderful. And I've been shrunken. Perfect. And I got shrunk again. Now the, uh, the Thundercloud and Lightning do not actually double down each other whenever, if there's ever the case where you get hit by both. So, yeah, that's interesting. Ooh, how convenient. Two mushrooms right after one another. But anyways, um... So yeah, I actually uh, never got to experience playing this game with a uh, first party, at least, Wii Wheel. I had to first experience it at a friend's house, where, <laughs> I'll admit, as like a, a what, six-year-old kid at this time, I was <laughs> jealous of my friends having the, of one of my friends having the Wii Wheel. Of course, I'm, of course I'm not anymore, mainly because, well, I never play this game with a Wii Wheel and just use the 
Wii Remote on its side on its own. I guess because as a kid not owning the Wii Wheel, I had to get used to it, and I have. I got a pretty good lead there with this race, with a 10 second lead. Dang, that's pretty good. Anyways, here's Wario's Gold Mine. I think I already said that I hated this track as a kid, mainly because it's not a very good track for beginners. And also that maybe it's because I borrowed the opinion from uh, YouTubers I watched at the uh, at this time, at, or when this game came out. Because, uh, funnily enough, I may as well say this is probably the first, probably the first video game that I actually watched internet videos over. Because, you know, when this game came out, it was around when YouTube was starting to become mainstream. You know, 2008. So I believe we got this game around when it came out. So, uh, that kind of explains that. Because I would watch a lot of internet videos over Mario Kart Wii, or at least the ones that existed in, you know, 2008, 2009. I even watched YouTubers like, um... Some of you probably know TWD98, or uh, Troy, I believe is his real name. He actually still does Mario Kart Wii content at this very day, funnily enough. And I watched him back then. I even used to have me's of him and all of his friends on my Wii console. And I actually, <laughs> I still have them on my 3DS, funnily enough. So I guess I watched him for that long to where, even into the 3DS era, I watched him. So that's pretty cool. But as I was saying about Warrior's Goldmine, funnily enough, another YouTuber I watched for their Mario Kart Wii content is none other than Proton John. Yeah, you may know him for mainly his, um, well, he still does YouTube with, uh, all sorts of Let's Plays and stuff. He mainly does, uh, Twitch streams now. But I actually watched, um, his videos of him and friends, uh, playing Mario Kart Wii in four-player multiplayer. And I'm pretty sure they, those are his most popular videos on, my, on his YouTube channel. I mean, it was how I discovered him, so... I guess it was for a lot of other people, too. Hello, Donkey Kong. Yeah. Well... Alright, let's see if we could catch up. From the looks of it, we might be able to. Well, there we go. We have successfully caught up. We have successfully recovered ourselves. Maybe. Come on. No! And we got second place. That's another thing about the Flame Runner and why it's not great for beginners. It's because it has very weak acceleration, meaning that if you get hit, it'll take a long while to recover and get back to your max speed. And it looks like the AI actually uh, did the used the half pipe there. That's cool. And we got a total point count of 57. We'll see if we get a um, gold star rank here. We might. That's not right. The flame runner drifting like that? Come on, game. You don't even know how your own vehicles work? I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, look how happy Bowser is. That's great. Alright, we got a ranking of a gold star once again. Perfect. We can now play in the Star Cup of 100cc. Alright, let's continue. <laughs> 